So E.B., I know that you met with the author of Forrest Gump some years ago. How important was that to you in the making of a movie on one of your stories? Yeah, thank you very much. Meeting with uh, Mr. Winston Groom was uh, very important to me. And uh, my favorite movie before I came to the United States was Forrest Gump. Mm. And uh, so when I visited Alabama, where he lives, I had told uh, everyone in the class that I spoke at that I really loved that movie. And because it's a human story and very uh, something that uh, everyone can relate to. But uh, in any case, I worked with the Eastern Shores Art Center. So uh, Nancy from the uh, Eastern Shore Art Center took me to his house. Mr. Groom said he would like to uh, have a conversation with me. And uh, so I was really honored to meet with him. And he, he and I, we talked for hours. And uh, you know, mm. he talked to me about the process of him writing the book, the movie itself, what was different about the movie from what he mm. uh, wrote. And uh, he really he likes what he likes about the movie, and uh, you know, just all kind of things like that. And I, he asked me to tell him some of my old stories, and so I told him a few stories about the uh, my artworks. But one important story that I told him was the story about eternity in our heart, which is the painting about the fireflies. And as soon as I told him that story, he said that what a great story. But he told me that, you know, maybe that story might become a movie someday. And uh, so Mr. Groom was the first person to tell wow. me that probably my uh, story would become a movie. I didn't think much about it. Mm. I was just very appreciative and that uh, he signed for me a copy of his book. I signed for him a copy of my artwork. What he wrote in that book uh, you, you will see on your screen because it's very important to me that such a uh, an accomplished author, uh, is a New York Times best-selling author, he wrote something about my own work. Anytime I pick up the book, I say, wow, he actually wrote this thing then. That's incredible. Very inspiring. <laughs> Evie, can you tell us a little bit about the soundtrack to the movie? Yes, uh, the, it's real uh, important, very uh, interesting how the soundtrack developed uh, over time. It uh, started off that, of course, I had no songs. Uh, I just had a movie idea and uh, writing music has always been something that I was interested in. Uh, in fact, I wrote a lot of songs uh, in the past, like back home in Nigeria and uh, here in the United States. Anytime I'm making a painting, I would think of a song mm. that goes with it. But I never really thought about recording uh, a lot of my, or any of my music until it became a necessity. Yeah. So uh, I first thought that maybe I would go and find existing songs. I discovered that, man, it's real expensive to <laughs> you know, license a song. Yeah. Then I thought, well, I'll just write it myself. And luckily, some of my friends that I told, uh, they thought I could do it too. Nothing like having friends that believe mm -hmm. that you can do something. Yeah. I spoke to a few people, some made just a beautiful thing out of it. Mm. And uh, so all these people I'm very thankful for. And uh, you know, they all come up in the, in the album. Oh, it's beautiful. I can't yeah. wait to hear it. Well, thank you so yeah. much.